Well, here at The Bond Experience, we're all about evolution. We're all about getting better. So this is the Mr. White Jacket as a Frugal Bond, part two. David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. I'm excited about this one. In fact, it's premiering on Christmas Eve 2017. I hope it's a little bit of a gift to all of you, but it is to me. Daniel Love, we all know from Royal Filmware. Uh, there's the website right there. You probably know it already. And by the way, you already know what's coming, I think, even without the title, because I'm wearing the NPL sweater uh, from the Mr. White scene inspector. I'm also wearing uh, Uniqlo puppy tooth uh, jean chinos. I think they're the closest things out there because you can't find the Neil Barrett ones. I'm wearing my Omega Spectre watch. Why? Because we're talking about the Mr. White Altalsi jacket, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the Mr. White jacket because that's how I grew to know it. Now, if you want to, and why would you, uh, watch some of my older videos around this, uh, we talked about the Dior jacket. Now, the Dior jacket from that scene uh, with Mr. White is about $4,000. If you can find it, you won't be able to find it. They only made a certain amount. Beautiful cashmere jacket, wonderful hand, interesting color, offset zipper. It was amazing. So Daniel Love comes out of the woodwork, as he does, and says, you know something? Frugal bond moment. Why? Why would you have to pay that much, and quite frankly, to capture that scene, to capture that Bond moment? You don't, because I'm going to offer one. And he did. He offered the Mr. White jacket, and we reviewed it, so you can go back and watch that old review if you want. And it was great. I mean, it was very soft. The zippers were right. But we even mentioned in the review that the color was not spot on. It was a little bit off. We said it was good, but, you know, it could be excellent. So what did Daniel do? Well, Daniel reached out to two Bond fans. Uh, you know them very well, Ross and Blair. Blair, our own correspondent across the seas, and said, guys, you own the jacket. You have the Dior jacket. Can we, can we get a color match? Can we find out the right thing? And by the way, while I'm improving the color, why not just improve some other things like the fit? Like give it a little bit more give in the shoulder, a little bit more fitted in the waist, a little more fitted in the arm. Let me fix the hem to be even that much more accurate. Why? Because, and I've said this before, he's a perfectionist. He's one of us. So he wants the best of the best. So what do we have here? Well, we have the next evolution of this jacket. Now, I want to show you something because this is a size medium. We're going to be talking about fit. We're going to be showing you all these things, function, all that stuff that you've grown to love with these reviews. But I'm going to come in close because I want you to see the color. We got it. We got it. This is the right color. This is that smoky blue. It's not navy. Um, it's not that almost royal blue that it was before. Um, it is this smoky blue of the Dior. Now, let's talk a little bit about the hand. Let's talk about the feel. This is a 35%, 65%, 35% cashmere, very long-haired cashmere wool, 65% traditional wool, okay? So no, nothing bad, no felt or anything like that. You don't want felt because then it turns into a cosplay piece and it gathers lint. But this is got a wonderful hand. Is it as soft as the Dior one? No, it's not going to be $4,000 soft. It's not going to be, you know, 100% cashmere soft, but it's incredibly soft. You'll probably still be rubbing yourself inappropriately. No, no. You know what? I'm not going to edit that out. You know me by now. But What's wonderful about this, it has all of the details that you would want, which we're going to talk about in a second. But I want to show you something. That was a medium. Now I'm going to try it on. That's why I have the outfit. But this is the way it comes. Now I'm saying this because when it comes to you in a box, it, it is, it's, it's kind of rolled up in a Ziploc. It's to protect it from shipping. And this is the small. So we always try on a, a kind of a small and a medium. You can see that it's got the uh, a faux leather Super Beaver, Super Beaver, Justice League style, um, on there, which I just wind up taking off, but it's nice. It's got a very nice soft feel. But the reason I, I'm, I'm talking about this and taking it out is this is wrinkled. Um, it is very wrinkled. You can see all the wrinkles on here. I want to show you something. No wrinkles. No wrinkles. Trained collar. 
What magic did I perform? No magic. I'm telling you, this is a hack your life moment, especially for you Bond lifestyle. Go out and get yourself a hand steamer. These things are like 15, 20 bucks. You can get the really nice ones that have the, the, the big wells in them, but I like this hand one because you can travel with it. And just steam this coat. Steam it and let it sit and train it, and you will get those wrinkles out of there. You'll also be able to train the collar like Bond had with that kind of like up in the back, but kind of flipped on the side type of look, which you'll see in a second. But it will come wrinkled. This, there's a little bit of a do-it-yourself type moment. Okay, let's get right into it, shall we? I'm gonna try on the small. Now watch this. Now the small in the old jacket fit me. Um, not great, it was a little tight and stuff like that. But already, even before I button it up or zipper, zipper it up, I'm feeling it right here. Uh, it's tight. Yeah, I'm starting, you can probably see it in the back, it's, it's stretching too much. Watch this. <laughs> now, I, despite what you think, I haven't gained weight. Um, I am a true 40. I am a 31 or 30. So, um, my chest has gotten a little bit bigger. I've been trying to put on a lot of protein. For those of you following Instagram, you see I'm eating whole chickens now. But it, I'm hard pressed to button this. I'm going to try to button one, where the waist is a little bit smaller. But let's zip this up now i have to literally suck every bit of oxygen and air so if i keel over call my wife i could be uh, bleh, okay uh there okay it's tight I, i'm being dramatic but it's tight it's too tight um i think it's too tight in the back um it's it's got a very fitted look you can see from the side i'll show you the side fitted i'll show you the back fitted it does have that shirt-like wear, but what I like about it, even with the small, it's a little bit more forgiving in the shoulders. It's not, you know, I'm not doing kind of the pear shape, um, but it's really fitted. It's too fitted. I like to wear things fitted. You know me by now. This is too much. I think it's puckering in places. It's popping out the pockets. Um, so, yeah. Now let's do the medium. Now, when I try on the medium, one of the things I'm going to talk about is the medium is not a wholesale change in the fact that, oh, okay, now it's gonna just be slouchy. You'll see the way it fits, I think, is the proper fit. Now, I'm going for, just, just so you know, I'm going for a mix. I'm not going for the, the shirt-like approach of uh, Bond when you know he's seeing Mr. White, but I'm also not going for uh, you know the little bit baggier route of when he's approaching. Now, oh, oh, so comfortable. So comfortable. So now the buttons are going on really easily. I don't know about you, but I don't button them all. Um, I'll button a couple, but I will zip it. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, comfortable. I can move. I could, you know, do things. Um, I am slowly training the collar. So even though I don't have the collar perfect right now, um, a little bit of steam. I'm just gonna check the mirror real quick. Yeah, that's a crazy collar, David. Um, a little bit of steam and the collar will be correct. So it's not 100% right now. It's kind of gathering in this corner. You can see right here, but it will be correct. All right, now the fit I feel is a lot better. I feel like I could live my life through this. Um, you can see the back is not, it's not too baggy, but it's fitted. This is what he meant by bringing in the waist. So the waist is, I don't have tons of fabric here, but I have enough to stuff multiple hands in there. Um, the shoulders are a little bit more forgiving. The arms, let's talk about the arms. So you can see me hold out the arms here. They're tight, but not too tight. They're fitted, let me put it to you like that. They're tailored to the arm, but they're not suctioning your arm. The, uh, the armholes are very high, which is nice. And what's great about this is even arms out, usually it'd be short, it's not. So um, if it seems a little long at first, it's not because when you put your arms out, it's, it's perfect. Let me come in a little bit closer. So you can see as I come in closer, some of the details here, you've got these wonderful pockets that are, you can work them and put things in, they're fully lined. You got the side pockets, which by the way, there are buttons here to close them. You don't need to see that. But what's neat about this too is, look at that. You've got a latch, a throat latch that you can pull over, which is correct to the Dior. You'll notice I did take off the, uh, the, the beaver collar. Uh, the faux beaver collar. I'm not going to wear it. I mean, it again, it's cozy, it's comfy, especially in the winter. It feels really good. Okay, so question you have to ask is, <laughs> if I have one of these, should I get another one? 
<laughs> that's entirely up to you. For me, it was all about color. Um, the, the stitching, the hem, great. Uh, the fit, I wasn't unhappy with the fit before. I'm much happier with the fit now. But the color is everything. The, the other color, yeah, I was like, oh, you know, it's different. You know, that's great. But to me, I wanted to get as accurate as possible. And this is as accurate as possible. The other thing is, because it does have a decent amount, significant amount of cashmere in it, the hand is still very soft. It's not felty. It's not cosplay. It's a jacket that you would wear out. Oh, what a great idea, David. How unique for the Bond experience. That's right, folks. Um, so it is, like I said, Christmas Eve day. Um, we're going to take a walk because it's not bad out. It's 40 degrees, maybe real feel of 35. So number one, we're going to test the form and function. Uh, we're going to go to the park and test this out. And I'm going to see, is it keeping me warm or is it something that's just, you know, cute because it was in a Bond scene? Why don't we go and check that out? Mr. White? Mr. White? No, I'm just kidding. So we, we've been walking around for about 32 minutes. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit and I am warm and toasty. I think it's a, a mixture of the 35 cashmere 65 wool. Again, it's not that uh, cheap cosplay felty wool. It's really good. Keeps the heat in. It's got the lining and everything, which is keeping it all together. Um, but it's warm. By the way, outside here, what's nice is this is real God's lighting. You can see that it's that smoky blue. If I come up a little bit closer, it's a smoky blue. It's not a navy and it's not the royal blue like I talked about. So from a comfort standpoint, from a utility standpoint, from a fashion standpoint, it's all coming together. Um, again, I'll show you the back so you can see it with the actual color. It's this wonderful out to sea door. Anyway, we will uh, keep it going, take our walk, and we'll see you back at home. Okay, I feel like I could actually walk up on Mr. White right now pretty quietly, and, uh, and I wouldn't be too cold even in the dead of winter. No, it obviously it worked really well and no surprise because of the material, because of the way it's made, this has a lot of functionality. So I'm happy with the color, happy with the changes. I'm really happy with the fit. And this frugal bond moment came to life because Danielle Love wasn't satisfied. And thank goodness for people like him. Now I know that there is a limited amount of these coats. It was a nightmare to make. There probably will not be another run because it's difficult to get all the parts and pieces together. Uh, take advantage of it. They, we're going to put the website actually in uh, in the description below. But you know, I love these frugal bond moments. I hope they keep coming. We've got a, we've got a while till Bond 25. So we're still recapturing and perfecting those little moments of Bond one at a time. Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for Frugal Bond, Mr. White, part two review, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 